Hey guys, this is another video coming at you, this time from the sports world. Uh, besides grading comic books and collecting comic books, I also am an avid sports card collector. Um, I focus mainly on baseball and basketball. And this is my latest um, submission, which arrived today, which is from SGC. Um, SGC is the rival company of such companies such as PSA and BGS. Um, during the coronavirus um, shutdown, PSA and BGS actually shut down. So SGC stayed open and they've been receiving submissions and they, they've actually been doing really good. I mean, I'm, I, I see the exponential rise this year, especially in SGC. And I've always been uh, a lover of their cases, their holders, uh, that is, uh, compared to other companies. But, you know, everyone, whatever floats your boat. Um, but here I'm going to talk to you about a submission I made uh, about uh, two weeks ago. So I used um, SGC's 10-day submission tier, and it was pretty easy. I mean, like I said, I mean, their website is e easy to maneuver around, and I submitted six cards. Um, I haven't seen the results, so this is going to be the unveiling. Um, I'm pretty stoked because I sent in um, six cards that should grade high. Um, I cleaned them myself. And we're going to see right now what, what were the results. It's, yeah, um, always be careful when using one of these um, blades because, I mean, you never know what can happen. So I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I sent, if I'm not mistaken, uh, baseball and football. Um, but we'll see what came back, as you can see here. So let's put this away before I stab myself. I mean, cleaning cards is pretty easy. I mean, if you have a microfiber cloth such as this, and again, you want to be very careful when uh, wiping down your cards. Always do so because they're always um, you always leave fingerprints behind and they can actually affect your grade so here is my order my invoice oh i can already see one really good grade right there so we're going to try to destroy this package right here that was easy and let's do this other side just in case um Drop your comments. I mean, I want to know what your uh, thoughts are on SGC. Again, I love SGC. I mean, I plan on using them a lot in the upcoming weeks. Uh, like I said, I, I, I just think that, you know, compared to the other companies, um, the turnaround time is just too long for me. And, and they're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. So that's another thing that... Uh, so... Let's see what we have here. So I'm just going to put this to the side right here. Um, let me just take this out. So here's my invoice. Um, so you can see. So let's take a look at the cards I sent in. So I use their... It's here. As you can see, I sent in a John Morant uh prism which is actually an orange cracked ice card i sent in two vlad guerrero no numbers uh short print cards i sent in a luka Doncic uh silver uh luck of the lottery card rookie card from 2018 and i sent in a gavin lux walgreens yellow um variant and finally, I sent in a Bowman Chrome Draft Refractor of Dylan Carlson. Let's see what grades are. As you can see, all were raw card grading. I actually put a minimum grade that I wanted um, on all my cards. So I placed that I wanted a minimum grade of 
9.5. So let's see what we got here. So number one, ooh, this is this is great. John Morant looks really nice. A uh, ten. Uh, let's see if you could. There you go. This is the orange ice prism. Look at that. Beautiful. I knew this would score high. I mean, I cleaned it myself. I mean, the centering on this card was awesome. I was expecting a, a an actually uh, an SGC pristine, but you know, I'll take it. I mean, uh, can't get any better than this. I mean, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, card number two. Ooh, this is nice. Vlad Guerrero, no number. So we have here a no number. Let me put this around here and just leave this on display right here. So, so we have here a Vlad Guerrero no number. Ten. No number because these are apparently short print because there's a number here where there's supposed to be a number up there. These apparently are short print, but, you know. Uh, we have a Vlad Guerrero. Another one. No number, scored a 10. I'm pretty stoked about that. I mean, this is another card you have to be very careful about because, again, these corners can really kill you on grades. I mean, you have to watch out for that. It was really nice. This is really nice right here. Here's my other card right here. I'll, this one I'm really happy about. I mean, this is a long-term long -term hold for me. We all know what this player is doing. I mean, last year he was a phenom, and this time around he's top five superstars. It's Luka Doncic. Look at that. I got the Pranina Prism, uh, Prism Luck of the Lottery Silver Prism. Look at that. This is the refractor one. This one I also knew also that it would score high, and this is I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, how do you know if you have a prism? I mean, it's right there. This is a beautiful card. I mean, this is this is just really I mean, I love the shine on this. I mean, I love new things. There you go. Uh now we got my Gavin Lowe, <laughs> this is really nice also. Man, I sent him some really nice cards. Uh, here's my Gavin Lux Walgreens Yellow Border. These are pretty, I mean, they sell for like $60, $70 on eBay raw. And I'm glad I got a 10 on this. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful card all around. And this is a long term hold also because we all know that this kid's going to be great. So we got that right there. And finally, uh, I have my Dylan Carlson uh, Refractor, which also scored a 10. This looks really nice. This is a Refractor version. Uh, this kid, you want to look out for him. I mean, I would start investing in him right now because he is the Cardinals' future. This kid can really hit. I mean, he... He was tearing it up in spring training before this whole coronavirus thing. But you want to keep a lookout for this kid because don't sleep on him. Cardinals always uh, churn out some really great prospects. So that's my submissions right there. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty stoked at the grades. And I'm looking forward to submitting more to SGC uh, this coming week. And I'll definitely show you the grades of those. Uh, like I said, give them a try. They are really efficient. And they are stricter at grading, in my opinion. But, you know, we'll leave that for another day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And drop some comments. What you think about the other two companies. What do you like? What you don't like? But, you know, I am really am digging the these SGC labels. I mean, I mean, the holders overall, I mean, it looked really awesome. So take care. See you guys soon.